Barstool Entertainment still doing some Red Dead Redemption 2 videos. Even after completing 100%, there is still plenty of stuff to do within the world of Red Dead Redemption 2. One of these things is going vampire hunting. I had done vampire hunting as Arthur and as John. I will leave links below to those videos. This time, I decided to have a little fun with Vampire and see what would happen. And I actually found something very interesting to happen. So let's get on with some fun with the Vampire. The first thing I did was get a room at Saint Denis and actually sleep until the next morning because I didn't want to start hunting for the Vampire until the next morning. And I wanted to do this a certain way. And of course, naturally, you got to get John something to eat because you want him strong and healthy when he goes and hunts the vampire. Say la vie. How about that? I'm told the savages are giving me a terrible time up north. After John has had a nice meal, you want to go feed the horse. He doesn't want to own a palace, employ countless servants, and rule over their own kingdom. Hungry girl. Now you can, as thanks to my... After the horse is fed, now you can go hunt the vampire. And the first location of... The vampire's messages is in this area, but I'm just going to cut to those messages. The first message is on a apartment building right here, and John makes note of it, and the message says, I drink from the maiden and I live again in the dead, the heart of the ring of blood. And this message is located right here above the inn in Saint Denis. It's actually kind of across from the bar where Arthur meets Sadie Adler and Dutch when they go to Colm Old Driscoll's hanging. Second message is not too far away. In fact, it's on the back end of a wall, which is between, you know, the I want to say on the east side of the bazaar, where John goes and Arthur goes to trade with the trapper. And it's right here on this wall. And once John makes note of it, it's... Again, it is a cryptic message. I feed again the blood of life. The circle has begun. And this message is located on the map here. I'll show you. Oh, yeah, it's actually south of the kind of bizarre area where the trapper is. And the next message is a little further away, so I'm going to cut to it. Okay, the third message is behind the general store in St. Denis. And you can see the main entrance is a general store right there, or the back entrance. And this is on a wall. And John inspects the message here and makes note of it. And it reads, Five Bones under the perfect star, Nosferatu with Dominica will become mortal again. Okay, and again, it is right here behind the meat market and the general store. 
Next one, I'm going to cut to, and it's a little harder to locate. This one is a little harder to find, but I found it right here. John is going to make note of it. And to be honest with you, you can read it if you find it. It says, Oh, sweetest of napes, may your blood remain forever on my lips, blah, blah, blah. And it's right here in this kind of back uh, area not too far from the train station or train ticket area. The next one is a lot harder to find. I'm going to jump to that. This next one is a lot harder to find, and for some reason I take the long route. It is kind of off in a corner somewhere. Then I'm going to show you the easiest way to get to this message. And you can see it right here. And you just come around here. Again, there's a straighter route to this. And John makes note of it, inspects the writing with one long kiss, blah, blah, blah. He makes note of it. And then on top of that, he draws this whole diagram. And there's this pentagram. And it's behind the church where John will find the vampire. And if you look on the map, this one is located right here behind the gunsmith. And the quickest route to it, I'll show you that instead of the long route, is you come right down this alley here. And it comes out right in front of the church. And if you look, it's right by Jade Dragon Chinese Restaurant. So... Let's get on with the actual vampire hunt and fun. I brought John back to his room, and we're going to sleep until night, which is 14 hours. That didn't take too long to track down the clues. But again, John is going to sleep through until the night when the vampire appears. Now it's time to go hunt the vampire. And we just got a ride to a specific spot and find the vampire. Hey, friend, come here a minute. Trust me, you want to hear this. No, I do not want to hear anything. I want to hunt the vampire. And you, if you ever encounter those guy, that guy, nah, you don't want to hear what he has to say. Because it ends up usually with John nearly dead. And right here, I see the X. There is the vampire, a corpse. And now what will happen is I'm going to save. And the reason I'm going to save is... If I don't do this correctly the first time, the vampire automatically kills John, and things don't work out too well. So let's get on with hunting the vampire. So, you found me. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? Stay back for your own sake. I walk with the undead. <laughs> what, you're a vampire? I have been called many names over the centuries. Now go, or I'll feed on you too. 
You're a goddamn idiot. I'll suck you dry. You are the seventh. Come to me, mortal. Unbind me and I will spare you the worst. Listen, is it okay if I rob you? You are making a grave mistake. Can restrain me? Oh, you will truly suffer now. Free me now, or I will bleed you slowly. After that, he remains strangely silent and says absolutely nothing. But my horse is not going to be very happy, and watch how she reacts. It's all right. Okay. I'm guessing Rachel probably would have been a little better. Maybe this is a horse that I had John tame because she looked interesting. And yeah, she is not having anything to do with the vampire. What's even more interesting is the officer doesn't even react to John, even after the horse runs away and he has the vampire on his shoulder. It's just, yeah, this is kind of bizarre. All right, officer. Meet the horse. Okay, so I finally get the vampire on top of the horse, maybe because there's other people around. But on the map, I want to bring him to Saint Denis Police Station. And for some reason, I don't see it anywhere. What the hell? It's by this theater, though. So what I'm going to do is, well, you know, everything else around here is kind of closed. But I'm going to put... The marker where the Saint Denis police station is. And now let's bring our little vampire friend to the Saint Denis police station and see what happens. This is going to be interesting. You quiet down now, or I'll hobble that lip for you. Hey.
okay, no reaction whatsoever. No, what the hell is that? Or what do you want me to do with it? I'm going to bring him across to theater, see if I can get a ticket and see a show with the vampire. Okay, nothing, no reaction, but I saw something that was interesting. Talk to Miss Marjorie. I didn't even know that could happen. I'm going to do a video about that, and it's going to be a separate video. It has to do with um, a mission I'll elaborate in the following video, but let's stow the horse, and now I want to take the horse out of town and see what happens when I feed the vampire to an alligator and the funny thing is it's daytime and there is no ill effects to the vampire he's not complaining about it being uncomfortable he's just chilling out taking it all in being a good boy yeah I'm looking for you know what I'm just gonna put a spot right here where I know there's an alligator that I can feed the vampire to. And let's go take him out of town and feed him to an alligator. All right. Did not expect the alligator to react that way. Now, you got to basically pick up the vampire. I forgot there's the ornate dagger. I got to go back and get it. But you got to kill the vampire in order to get the ornate dagger. And I'm just going to pick him up, deposit him off somewhere, and then go pick up the dagger. It's actually a unique weapon, and yeah, Ornate Dagger, Compendium Updated. So now that I had my fun with the vampire, I'm just going to move on and do something else. If you found this video interesting, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. 
I post video game videos throughout the week, plus some shorts and specials, and you want to stay informed. As always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by.